penguins looking for a partner set themselves apart and start to display. This male doesn't have to wait for long. He's unlucky this time. But he's spoiled for choice. There are 3,000 possible partners. Her waddle walk shows she's keen. they mirror each other's actions to confirm that they're now a couple. But their blossoming romance soon sparks jealousies. A second female tries to muscle in. She pecks at her rival, but the male's having none of it. The girls fight it out. It's flippers at dawn. She shoves her challenger to the ground. But it's not over yet. Her mate cheers her on. This time, she's clinched it. She slapped her way to victory. The bereaved couples are desperate. They look for another chick to care for. And they don't mind if it's someone else's. They plan a kidnap. The mother's defence is to sit tight and stop her chick being stolen. But the kidnappers won't be put off easily. Just in time, her partner returns, spruced up from the shower. He takes on the would-be kidnappers. The fight gets even more heated, but there are few tougher than a rock hopper. They can take the punishment as well as dish it out. The baby snatchers have had enough, and the male returns to his mate. He might need another shower, but at least his chick is safe. Kidnapping is also rife in the emperor colony. The newly walking chicks are irresistible to females that have lost their own chicks or failed to breed. The mother tries to repel the kidnappers with a few well-aimed pecks, but they won't give up. And others had the same idea. The chick heads for the main colony, hoping to find protection among the crowds. She disappears in a mass of bodies and reappears alone. But it's only for a moment. A large crowd has gathered, all trying to adopt the chick. She's soon overwhelmed by doting admirers. Ah! 
One child snatcher tries to force the chick into her pouch, but she's way too big. She makes a break for it, then gives them the runaround through the colony. Finally, they have her surrounded. They're all desperate to mother her. She's in danger of being smothered with love. But the fluff ball is accidentally flipped away and caught by her mother. She'll stay closer to her next time. The hardest part of becoming independent is leaving home. The Emperor Penguin Chicks are about to take the biggest step in their young lives. Left alone by their once doting parents, they must leave their icy birthplace and make their way to the sea. Every test they face hones skills they'll need later in life. But one challenge stops them in their tracks. The giant petrel. They try to flee, but running isn't an emperor's strong point. A slip is all the petrel needs. The chick is grabbed by his neck feathers. But the down just falls away. They form a defensive circle and prepare to stand their ground. Despite their chick-like appearance, they are close to a metre tall. Quite a size, even for a giant petrel. The chick towers to full height, protecting those behind. His defiance buys time. It's a standoff. Then, as if from nowhere, an Adeli, the feistiest penguin in the world. He fearlessly puts himself between the chicks and the petrol. Even petrels don't mess with Adelis. Plucky rescuer accompanies the chicks to the sea. Emperor Cam is there to see them on their way. But entering the water is a daunting prospect. Having an adult around must be reassuring even if it is a spy. The Adeli seems to be waiting for something too. Another penguin cam is also ready to see them go. Instead, other penguins start to arrive. More Adelis. Their rescuer was just the front runner. It's his turn to feed. 
so he leaves her to look after their eggs. Now she must tackle a problem faced by no other kind of penguin. For the next 10 days, she must protect her eggs from the African sun. A dense coat of feathers that keeps her warm in cold seas now stifles her. On these exposed rocks, she must shade her eggs instead of keeping them warm. Everything here seems the wrong way round. For some, the soaring temperature is too much. A neighbor deserts his nest. His egg will not survive. He's not the only one to give up. Some years, not a single chick is reared. Penguins are adapted to withstand temperatures of 40 degrees below zero, not 40 degrees above. Now, at the hottest part of the day, the very worst time, her chicks are hatching. Just when they need her most, she's reaching the limit of her endurance. After 10 days of intensive fishing, the chick's father comes back to take his turn at the nest. But will he be too late? He greets his young for the very first time. Incredibly, in spite of the din and confusion, returning birds are able to find their nest and partners without any difficulty. And the reunion is always marked with a jubilant display. Parents will now swap duties. The one just arrived will feed the chicks and guard them, while the other, having fasted for a couple of days, will go down to the sea to feed and collect more food for the young. Those that are nesting on the lower slopes are lucky. Others have to climb so high that their nests are up in the clouds for much of the time.
The trick down from the nest can take another hour, but it has to be done if the chick is to be fed. When at last they reach the sea, their journey that so far has been merely arduous becomes very dangerous indeed. A leopard seal. A single leopard seal may catch up to six penguins an hour. During the season, it will kill hundreds. A wounded bird, having escaped almost miraculously from the seal, must now face the merciless skewers. In spite of its injury, it still struggles upwards towards its nest. <laughs> 